how to extract data from a website to display it inside your Flutter app. Every website has an HTML source code with many different tags. Inside these HTML tags, we have the website data that we want to extract to our Flutter app. We use selectors to get this website data. In this case, we select all tags with the name h1 or select only the second h1 tag. If the HTML tag has a class attribute, you could select it by using a dot followed by the class name. Or if the HTML tag has an ID attribute, you could select it by using a hashtag followed by the unique ID name. Also, you could get all h1 tags that have an attribute called name. Optionally, check if the name attribute has a specific value. Next, you could select all h1 tags that have a direct parent tag A or select all h1 tags that have at some point a parent tag A. In our case, we want to fetch some titles and images from a website, therefore create a method and inside of it, we load the website using the HTTP package. Let's also go to this website. On this website, right click on the element you want to extract and choose inspect element. With this, automatically the HTML tag is selected that holds our title. Next, you can right click on this element and choose copy selector. This selector will only select this specific title. However, we also want to select other titles. For example, this title here, it is again an A tag and around it we have an H2 tag. So we can shorten the selector. We choose H2 tags that have inside of it an A tag and this H2 tag has a class name postcard title to make it even more precise. Back in the IDE, we import the HTTP and HTML packages. Next, we get the HTML source code of this website. We query this website using the selector that we have determined before. From the selected HTML tag, we want to get the inner HTML code. With this, we have all the titles from this website that we want to save within our state. And lastly, we want to display these titles in our UI. Therefore, we create a list view and inside the item builder, we display then each of these titles. Next on the website, right click on the image that you want to extract and choose inspect element. This will automatically select this image tag that has inside the source attribute, this image link. Again, right click on this image tag and choose copy and copy selector. Again, the selector will only select this single image. However, we also want to select the other images. Therefore, we shorten our selector again. We choose A tags that have inside of them image tags. And to make it more precise, the A tag has the class name postcard image link. Back in the IDE, we select from the HTML source code all images using this determined selector. From the image tag, we get the source attribute. And lastly, we want to display these images, therefore we save them in our state and within the build method, we get each image. And lastly, we display them inside of our UI, these image widgets. The most important part is most websites use JavaScript and they show a loading indicator before displaying the data. If you disable JavaScript, then you see the HTML website that our Flutter app is fetching. Therefore, we want to look at how we can get the HTML code after JavaScript has modified this web page so that we can fetch all of this information. For this, we use this example website where our Flutter app always fetches the not JavaScript version. On the other hand, normal browsers also load the JavaScript and with this, it modifies the data of our website. Inside your Flutter app, you could use a web view to load the JavaScript version of this website. In our case, we hide the web view. However, it still needs to be inside the build method. Next, once the JavaScript website is loaded, then we also load the HTML source code and we put the HTML code into a new method. This HTML string you convert to an HTML document and then you can query this HTML document as we have done before. And now we save this title inside of our state. And lastly, we display then this title inside of our UI. With this, the data from the JavaScript website version is displayed.